Hi. In this tutorial, we're going to be creating an Android Java plugin for use with Unity 3D. Uh, in particular, this plugin is going to show the native Android Toast notification in your Unity 3D game. So this tutorial is going to be composed of two parts. The first part is going to be creating the actual plugin in Java. And then the second part is going to be creating all the wrappers necessary to run the plugin in Unity 3D. So to start things off, let's go ahead and create a new Android library project using the command line. And that can be done by doing the following. Alright, so I went ahead and created that on my desktop. The next thing that we want to do is we want to open the project in our favorite text editor. So I'm going to be using atom.io from GitHub to do this. So with that open, let's go ahead and create a few directories in our source directory. So the first directory we want to create is com. And then inside of com, we want to create Envoy, and inside Envoy, we want to create test plugin. And as you can tell, those are the three directories that make up our package name. So inside the test plugin directory, we want we want to create a new file called toastexample.java. This is going to be the class file that is responsible for our Toast notifications and basically everything that has to do with the Java portion of our plugin. So let's go ahead and start by declaring the package. And importing two classes. Now we're going to go ahead and create the uh, main class called Toast Example. This is going to be where all of our code goes. At this point, I'm going to assume that you have at least a somewhat understanding of Android and more particular Java. If you don't, I suggest you do a little bit of research before you start making Unity 3D plugins. So the next thing you want to do is create two private variables for our class. The context is going to represent um, the Unity 3D window because it's necessity when using Toast uh, notifications. It requires a context. And we're going to get more into that when we start doing the Unity side of this. Because Unity 3D, the plugins are instance-based, we need to be able to create an instance of this class that we're creating. So let's go ahead and make the constructor. You know what, since this is a static function, we cannot use this. So we're just going to do instance equals null. And then instance equals new toast example. And then we are going to return the instance. So provided that the instance does not already exist, we need to go ahead and create it. And this is Unity 3D is going to call this uh, method and it's going to expect it to be static. So 
The next part is we need to create our set context method. Unity 3D is going to provide us with the context and then it's going to call this method to set it inside of our plugin. It's very important. The final function that we're going to make uh, is going to be to show the text of our toast. I'm going to pass in the context of our application, the message, and we're going to show the toast uh, for a short duration. Uh, short is about two seconds. Uh, there is a long that you can use instead, but we're going to use short. All right, we now have all of the code for our Java class in order to show a toast notification, but we're not quite done with our library project. We need to open up the build.xml file, and we need to add a way to create a jar file. By default, Android will start uh, spitting out APK binaries, but we don't want—we can't use an APK binary for this. We have to use a jar. So go ahead and add the following. All right, so what happened here is we are creating a jar with all of the class files in the bin directory, and that's something that Unity is able to work with. And to test this, let's go ahead and navigate into our test plugin directory. And we're going to do ant jar. And it failed. So let's see why it failed. Class toast example is public. It should be declared in a file called toast example. All right. So did I make a typo? Let's see if I made a typo. Yeah, I did make a typo. So I named I, I forgot an L inside the file name. No big deal. Easy, easily corrected. All right, let's go ahead and try that again. All right, it has now built successfully. So with that said and done, let's go into our Unity 3D project. What we want to do is inside of our assets directory. We want to create a folder called plugins. And then inside the plugins folder, we want to create a folder called Android. And, and Unity 3D knows that anything inside the plugins Android directory is going to be a plugin. It just it's part of how it's uh, programmed. So with that done, let's open up the uh, Toast project for Unity, and we're going to open up the Android directory, and we are going to copy the test plugin jar that we had just created into that directory. So we're almost done at this point. What we need to do now is we need to create another directory inside of the assets directory called scripts. And we need to create a C sharp script that's going to wrap this Android Java plugin. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and name that Unity Toast Example. You can name it whatever you want. This is just something that I've chosen. 
So back in our text editor, let's go ahead and open up our Unity project. And we are going to open the Unity Toast example C sharp file and add the following. All right, so what we're doing here, uh, toast example is going to represent our Java library. And by default, we set it to null because we're indicating that it has not yet been loaded. We're also gonna set our activity context to null because that has not yet been loaded either. So inside the start, we decide that if it hasn't been loaded, then it's time to start loading it. So, using Android Java class, I'm going to call it activity class, equals new Android Java class, com.unity3d.player.unity player. So this right here is a part of Unity, is what it's the screen that everything renders to. It's the default activity. Uh, so it's not it's not actually part of our Java plugin, but it's a necessary item in order to get the activity context. So with that loaded, now we can grab the activity context. Again, this is already predefined by Unity. We're just accessing it. So we're getting the current context of the current activity because it's very important in order to display toast notifications to the screen. So now that we've loaded that, we can actually start loading our Java plugin that we made. All right, you can see that we've entered the full package and class uh, representing our plugin class. And if it loaded correctly, it won't be null. So if it loaded correctly, now we want to grab an instance of it. Now that we have an instance of it, we can now use any method inside of the class that we made because the instance has all of the classes and variables that we created. So we're going to call toast example dot call and we're going to call it the set context because we created a, a method called set context, and then we're going to pass it the activity context that we just discovered from the current activity. So with that said and done, the notifications for Toast actually use the UI thread, and the UI thread has to be accessed a certain way. So it has to be accessed on a separate thread using a, a Java runnable, and we can do that by doing the following.
I apologize for the lack of syntax highlighting. I apparently don't have a C sharp syntax highlighter in my editor. All right, with that done, now we can actually call the method. All right, so now we don't we don't actually need the the update method of this script. So we're just going to go ahead and remove it for simplicity. So going back into your Unity 3D project, let's go ahead and click on the camera. Again, we're going to keep this very simple. We're going to add a component, and we're going to add the script that we just created. So with that said and done, let's go ahead and try to build this and see if it works. I already have my simulator open. So in theory, it should build and run without errors. And it got an error because I forgot to set up the bundle identifier. No big deal. Alright, with that set up, now let's try to build and run it again. We got my simulator all ready to go. This is a toast message. So, as you can see, when our application loads, it shows the toast exactly how it should, just like how we, how we set it up to. So, that was pretty easy to actually make the plugins. We did it in two parts. We made the short Java plugin. Uh, it's very important to cr create an instance, and if you're using items that require the application context, it's very important that you grab it. I think in most scenarios you will need the application context, so it's always nice to have this function added. Uh, if you're using items that run on the UI thread, you also need to accommodate. There will often be scenarios though that you don't need uh, to create a Java runnable for this because you won't need to display anything. It'll, you might be using a background process or some other library that runs in the background.